Lagrange is a 2018 concept study for a solar weather mission by the European Space Agency (ESA). This is a British-led concept that envisions two spacecraft to be positioned at Lagrangian points L1 and L5. Monitoring space weather includes events such as solar flares, coronal mass ejections, geomagnetic storms, solar proton events, etc. Monitoring would help predict arrival times at the Earth and any potential effect on infrastructure. If funded, both Lagrange missions would launch in the 2020s. Overview To ensure an effective capability to monitor potentially dangerous solar events, ESA initiated a study of two potential future space weather satellites called Lagrange. The Lagrange mission concept is overseen by the Space Situational Awareness Program at ESA. On 2 February 2018, ESA signed technological contracts Phase A to be led by Airbus UK and OHBSE of Germany to design the spacecraft specifications and the instrument's integration process. UK's Rutherford Appleton Laboratory and Mullard Space Science Laboratory will assess the requirements of the science payload. This mission concept proposes positioning two spacecraft in orbit at the L1 and L5 Lagrangian points, respectively, where gravitational forces interact to create a stable location to save propellant and from which to make observations. L1 is in the solar wind upstream from Earth, so measurements at L1 provide information about the space weather coming toward Earth. In contrast, the L5 point provides a way to monitor coronal mass ejections CMEs from the side in order to estimate their speed and direction. Objectives The preliminary Lagrange mission objectives are The spacecraft at L1 is to provide observations of the solar wind speed, density, temperature and dynamic pressure, charged particle environment and the direction and strength of the interplanetary magnetic field. The spacecraft at L1 would also monitor the solar disk and solar corona and measure solar energetic particles that may be associated with solar flares and the onset of coronal mass ejections. The spacecraft at L5 would complement measurements made from L1 by providing a side view of the propagation of plasma clouds emitted by the Sun toward Earth. The spacecraft at L5 would monitor of the solar disk and corona and carry out measurements of the interplanetary medium. Payload To achieve these objectives, the satellites at the L1 and L5 positions have to carry different types of remote sensing and in situ instruments. The suggested optical instruments take heritage from ESA and NASA science missions like SOHO, Stereo and Solar Orbiter, but the instruments would be optimized for operational space weather monitoring. The notional science payload may require Optical instruments coronagraph for onset and characterization of coronal mass ejections CMEs. Heliospheric imager high a wide angle visible light imaging system for the detection of coronal mass ejection events directed toward earth. Magnetograph would scan a selected solar spectrum to generate 3D maps of the magnetic field. EUV imager imaging of the complex solar corona the sun's atmosphere will support monitoring of the magnetic complexity and activity in the corona and location of the flaring active regions X-ray flux monitor detection of solar flares and quantification of the flare energy in situ instruments magnetometer measurement of the interplanetary magnetic field Plasma analyzer – to measure angular velocity components of the solar wind approaching the Earth and estimates of geomagnetic storm strength. Radiation monitor – monitoring radiation storms solar particle event is crucial, as these can disrupt and damage spacecraft, aircraft and ground systems. Medium energy particle spectrometer – this can monitor clouds of medium to low energy ions approaching the Earth. 